Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, also known as the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm Michael. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Oh, well, I'm okay. Just trying not to, you know, fry up in this heat. I hope you're staying cool. Oof. Yeah, honestly, we've had our AC running almost all day for the last week. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness it's we've been- got... Thank goodness for AC, you know? Yeah. I'm not, um, I'm not looking forward to that uh, electricity bill, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think so. It's, it's killer here. But uh, I think, yeah, again, thank God for AC. Yeah. Um, but hopefully you've been enjoying your, you know, your weekend. We're, we're recording here on, um, on Labor Day. You know, oh. where we celebrate uh, workers' rights by not working. So Except we're working on a holiday. Is this work? This is, this is considered work. work? Yes. I see. <laughs> okay, I put you to work. <laughs> oh man! Hopefully, I pay you a good wage. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very livable that one. Now, don't go unionizing on me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> one man union. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if I could? <laughs> oh boy. Well. um... That aside, well, well, hopefully it won't put you to too much work, okay? But um, is there anything that you've uh, you kind of eaten lately? Anything at all? Um, it was my nephew's birthday. Like, uh, what is he, eight now? Uh, eight, eight year birthday, or eighth birthday, Jesus, my um, last Friday. Mm. So we had the typical Filipino fair, you know. It was uh, from Manila Sunset. We got mm-hmm. Balabo, uh, Lumpia, Shanghai, a bunch wow. of it, which is mm-hmm. very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, randomly steak. Okay, okay. yeah, <laughs> can't feed a steak, I guess. Was yeah, the well, steak? From, like, wait, was the steak from no. Manila Sunset, or just <laughs> yeah. like someone just prepared a steak? No, so my sister was just making steaks because I guess they had steaks. Well, there you go. Yeah, but well, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, places like that, like Manila Sunset, even those kind of chainy type places. I mean, they. I mean, they'll have a place here in uh, in LA, and um, they make. Yeah. I mean, they make some, you know, the the good uh, kind of comfort food. So we can't uh, can't go wrong with that. Um, but uh, me, I am um, trying to think. I th- recently I came across a a post for a lo- a spot um, out in North Long Beach called uh, Shoots. It's uh, they kind of do like Hawaiian comfort food. So. Oh. Yeah, we had the I had this uh, kimchi butter like fried chicken kind of thing served with, uh, you know, on a bed of rice with uh, like mac salad, um, and okay. and some uh, and some spam masubi as well. So nice. That was I'm gonna pretty... go ask. I'm gonna ask somebody who's very critical about Hawaiian places and see if that's on their good list. <laughs> mm, if it's not, maybe they or if it's not yet, they can they can try it out. True, true. Yeah, so, okay. Well, speaking of more food, I mean, you know, thanks again for joining us, everyone, as we, you know, talk about some of, uh, more of our food adventures. You know, we, uh, as we hit up um, kind of local spots and kind of these pop-ups that we find have good food and also good people. So we're we're pretty happy to have gone around and uh, kind of bring you the news, you know, what's going on. Um, but uh, as far as our... Uh, food groups go. We're we're back to burgers this week, and it's an important uh, food group. It is uh, probably one of the most important, I'd say, arguably. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I I did see your message, uh, you know, just recently um, about that uh, Simpsons reference. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And and it makes and, and it kind of makes sense, you know. Uh, that's actually that comes from probably one of my favorite uh, episodes, you know, King Size. Nope. Homer. The one where Homer goes to 400, 500 well, pounds and so work from home. 300 pounds, you know. Oh, okay. Is that and, what it was? Uh, so, but uh, yes, uh, Dr. Nick it knows what he's <laughs> talking about. He's a very well respected practitioner yeah, in this sure, field. Sure. So, um, so I think, hold I, on. it, uh huh. Just now that you mention it, that whole episode, the reason Homer gains the weight is to work from home. Right. Back in the day, you needed to be fairly obese to work from home. So, yeah, it's morbidly obese. Damn. So it had Where to have it be, be a medical condition. So, well, I mean, and they said nothing good came from this pandemic. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Hold silver up. lining. Silver lining. Silver lining. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, but yes, it's yeah, it was a fun um, fun reference. Thank you for you know bringing that and reminding me about that. I completely forgot about it. It was yeah. definitely is probably subliminal for sure. Like <laughs> that's probably where a big YouTube part of knows. where it came from. So yeah, exactly. But we're back to burgers, and you know, we've talked about burgers already. Um, you know, our previous episode of burgers with burgers never say die. Um, but there are seemingly endless number of styles and uh, regions, even hyper local regions of types of burgers. Um, but no matter, I mean, everyone's got their take on how to dress up a burger. You know, different toppings and um, the way they cook. Uh, you know, their patties, even the patties are, you know, different, can be made of all sorts of different things. But, you know, where I just want to ask, I don't remember if I asked this before, but what do you like in a burger? What do I like in a burger? I'm pretty sure this was discussed, uh, but lots oh. of meat, extra meat. <laughs> meat uh, is essential. Uh huh. Man, that eight, like, a, what's it called? Eight by eight from, from In N Out? Totally worth it. Maybe Wait a less minute. cheese, though. I, <laughs> I forgot. Did they go that high? They used to back in the day. Uh, they used to go as high, almost as high as you wanted. Then people went crazy with like the thirty fives or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they limited to f- well, I don't know about now, but the last time I did it with four by four was like twenty eighteen. You are reminding me. I think there was a time when we went out and um, we probably did something like that, or we had joined like two four by fours together. I've done that. Okay, more than once. <laughs> it's not something like that. I mean it. The point is that, you know, the man likes his meat, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, good for you. I mean, (laughs) so essentially, I mean, you know, the essential burger would be, you know, meat, cheese, bun, probably, I I, I imagine. I mean, Um, cheese is, the cheese is uh, debatable. Okay, but what else would you like on your burger? Uh, Fan of onions. I actually am grilled onions or caramelized onions as well, either, either or. Those are okay. those are good. Or yeah. um, the fried red onions; those are delicious. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, That's red onion had that ec- has that extra kick, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. I I'm I'm a simple burger kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure myself. I mean, I I kind of like all manner of burger to be honest, uh, size wise, thin or thick or you know anything in between. Um, you know, five C's. Yeah, exactly. Um, stacked mm-hmm. high. I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, whether plushy bun, seated bun, um, you know, grilled onion, raw onion, even the condiments. We kind of brought that up before, you know, to the people who, who appreciate the tradition of a burger. You know, they, they, um, they could do without ketchup. Um, but, you know, people who, who like their ketchup will, will put it on there. And there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. It's, yeah, yeah. So, whatever the burger calls for, you know, just kind of respect that. But you do what you want, you know. Um, but as far as burgers go, uh, we are going to talk about another great example of um, of a burger here in in LA. Um, you know that we've seen, you know, from its start, honestly, from uh, its pop up days uh, to its now kind of brick and mortar. Actually, yeah. two brick and mortar spots, which is I think really cool, uh, within a span really of a few, couple of years. So I think um, it's a really cool story to uh, to to see and to and to share. And um, you know this uh, this week's um, goes to uh, to Gold Burger. That's who we are kind of talking about today. And I'm just gonna play this here huh? <laughs> for those who are watching. But just to give you an idea here. Um, Gold Burger is, is a spot in LA that does the smash burger just like um, we, we've discussed before. So it's a kind of a thin sliced patty and, um, you know, they, they use kind of a grass fed beef with this and also what I would consider their kind of signature uh, aioli, a garlic mustard aioli and all topped oh, on, a, right. on a, on um, a, on a plushy white bun. So. Uh, it's, it's really good. I mean, it's, it's something very enjoyable to eat. They, as far as smash burgers go, it is a smash burger because it uses that smash technique. You know, you, you put the kind of the ball of meat on, on the, on the flat top and then you kind of smash it down. Um, 
creating a you know that sear um, and quick cook. But uh, the way you know, interestingly, I think um, this has been approached uh, is the way that it's been cooked is that it kind of is able, even though it's a thin patty, they've managed to give it in some kind of this kind of medium kind of finish. So it's, oh, yeah. it's kind of an interesting kind of take because if it's thin, usually it cooks fast and you just kind of get it, you know, well done as, as most burgers would be, but in that way. But um, this is something else and this is just another take on, on a good burger. And so I'll talk about a little bit of who, who this is. This is um, the, the main guy behind uh, the whole thing. His name is Alan uh, Yellant, and uh, he's kind of the owner. He was, you know, the guy uh, behind the grill for a long time. And, um, you know, he, he grew and, and got, you know, a great crew behind him now. Um, but he was, he was the guy behind Goldberger, and um, he just... You know, he started off, of course, as many others do, just kind of cooking for, you know, friends and, you know, in the um, kind of on his own. And then people kind of encouraged and kind of got him to, you know, start where he was. And then it just kind of took off from there. So he makes his burgers. We have the classic gold burger, which is what we just discussed. Um, but then he also offers things like the California classic, which is kind of like your, your roadside type burger with shredded lettuce and things like that. Um, and then later on, he introduces uh, pastrami on his burger, which he calls the LA right. special. So, I mean, I'll take a look with you here, you know, just, um, you know, some of the, you know, the menu, we just, things we just talked about here. So you have the gold burger, again, the California classic, uh, the LA special, those were kind of the, the starter ones uh, we've seen early on. And then later he would um, introduce things like the patty melt and a and the bar burger, which is a thicker burger. Um, so those were, you know, kind of some of the things that we saw. Um, and then now, as we kind of go along, we'll see he's added a lot. He's added, uh, you know, several more things, including, you know, uh, French fries, curly fries, but and uh, but. Certainly, notably, what I would I would say would be uh, pies. And my child, I know you are a you know you're a fan of pies. You like your pie. Oh hell yeah! I'm it, give me a birthday pie over a birthday cake any day. Yeah, or any birthday I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> any occasion really. Just give yeah. the man his pie. Yeah, um, pie day. I get more than I, I distribute pies if I must on pie mm -hmm. day. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, my favorite holiday. My favorite <laughs> food holiday. Just spread the, the love of pie. Yeah, no yeah. problem. But uh, the pies are, you know, in addition to being just really delicious, um, you know, they're handmade by uh, his wife. Uh, so shout out to uh, Taylor, uh, who can the master pie maker. So th those are really good. And we'll see uh, some of that later. Um, but as far as where they are now, uh, they're currently in, in Highland Park and also in, in uh, Los Feliz. So. Uh, he was formerly kind of popping up in LA and Silver Lake and, you know, just throughout LA. But right now he's got those brick and mortars and um, we couldn't be happier because now you can kind of get your Goldberger fix throughout the week and, you know, whenever you want. So it was, it was, um, it's really something cool. Um, but they started, you know, from what I can remember, at least, you know, my early visits were back in, that was back in 2018, I think around when they were doing their first like kind of pop-ups there to the to the people, but um, let me, uh, I can throw up something here, see if I can find it. Yeah, this was, um, this was back in the, in the early days. Um, these were, uh, we were kind of riding the, the burgers <laughs> never, the burgers never say die wave, you know, this, this was, we were kind of deep into this. Yeah. We were, we were going there pretty regularly, um, but then we had also, you know, um, at some point, you remember they had also been uh, kind of shut down they yeah. kind of halted that that operation and all that but you know yeah. kind of during that time between that time i had the the instagram algorithm the almighty algorithm had um had brought up something to my feed about um about a burger spot and a burger pop-up that um uh, it thought i would be interested in checking out and um actually i'll bring that up here and i this was the post that that it came up with and um, they were, 
out there setting up at this spot called Dinosaur Coffee, which is a coffee shop in, in Silver Lake. Um, and it says here that, you know, they were going to, he's going to do two cheeseburgers, uh, a McDouble, uh, kind of classic burger, and then um, a fried onion burger inspired by George Motes. There's that name. We kind of brought that up before, and his name comes up again. We will see his name again when we talk about burgers, but um, uh, George Motes is America's burger historian. So um, just uh, that, that was just really something that, that was put out there. And again, going back to you know this pick here, this is uh, that fried onion burger. And um, it was very simple. Again, two patties. You know, with American cheese and uh, the grilled onions and um, with pickle. And then that um, also there would be the the sauce, the aioli on there, okay, in between two, um, in in between the bun. So that was uh, was something I, when I took that first bite, I thought, you know, this is, it obviously reminds me of, you know, that, obviously that same style, like burgers never say die, you know, something that's thin, that's kind of, you know, just easy to kind of eat. And, um, but it had that ex, it had that different take on it. It had the, you know, the, the grilled onions as opposed to burgers never say die, you know, they had, yeah. the you know, the chopped, uh, chopped kind of yeah. white onion, that's it. Um, so it was a different approach and so it was a different taste and, Again, that aioli, there was, uh, was kind of the main kind of sauce on there. There was no, you know, standard mustard or ketchup on there that you would find on a, you know, the, that spot that had a McDonald's next door, literally. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> yes. yes you, it did. For whatever reason, if you didn't like this place, you could go to McDonald's next door. <laughs> Thankfully, that, that didn't happen. Um, and we, uh, I kept coming back uh, and I brought my chow with me. I uh, brought you along, and uh, we we would uh, we would hit, yeah, and we would uh, we would hit it up, and we would have you know one serving, and then we realized we so we needed some more. We needed some more, we so we always we would order more. again. Thankfully, we would go, and they hadn't you know they wouldn't have sold out yet. We we made yeah. sure we go early enough so that you know even if we stayed longer, there'd still be food um, available. So yeah, it was it was pretty interesting. Um, and this was at the back, kind of the back. So that you have the storefront, but then you'd walk towards the back into this this kind of lot. It was probably used for parking at some point or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, that's where they would set up. And you got the pop-up tent. You got the, the tables and the grill set up. And it was just kind of a, again, like a backyard cookout, you know? Yeah, kinda, basically. But... Um, Simple, simpler times. I think so. It was so awesome. we had we had Al in there, you know, man in the man in the grill. Uh, there are a few other people, um, you know, that would help him out. But uh, the one that sticks to my mind, a shout out to to Brent and Brent. Uh, I believe he, if hopefully, still is at uh, this uh, at Go Get Him Tiger, which is a coffee shop in based in L.A. They got various locations throughout, um, but uh, he'd help Alan a lot and. Again, there are a few other there are others there that um, names escape me, and hopefully I'll I'll remember that at some point. But um, those were the early days. You know, they would pop up like maybe once, uh, once a week or every other week, and yeah, serve up these burgers. Then. Yeah, um, wasn't um, I don't know. First, just look at that pickle. But didn't they used to do <laughs> caramelized onions as well, like on special occasions? You know what? It's funny you mention that because I was looking and trying to bring up the and gather all the pictures, you know, that I had on on my that I got on the phone because I didn't have my camera at oh, that right. time. Right, so let right. me just bring up this other one here. This was uh this was more of the classic, you know, the the one with just kind of the the raw, you know, kind of chopped onion and things yeah. like that. More like a McDonald's cheeseburger, I guess. Um but the one you're talking about was more something like this, I think. So the this here is this um, very slow cooked caramelized you know onion type thing. Because I remember so, maybe it was the first time, but there was a at dinosaur he had like just you know those regular tubs that you get from like take takeout places. It was uh-huh. like maybe the soup ones. Uh-huh. It was full of uh, caramelized onions. If I remember I think, correctly, and, and I we, believe that's what these are. And we kind of cleared that tub out. <laughs> Did we clear it? Okay, just single, I'm single, sure. single handedly. All right, that's. <laughs> Yeah, those were good. I, I enjoyed that. Um, and 
I'm glad you did too. Yeah, yeah. that's my favorite version of the Gold Burger for sure. Really? Oh man. Yeah. Okay. I mean, caramelized onions in general just. It just yeah, makes I mean, it, add, it certainly adds you know obviously a sweetness you know um, and yeah. deeper fl- deep flavor in its in its own. So that that's pretty cool. Um, so beyond that, I mean, so he was kind of doing his thing over there, and then you know in a matter of I don't know, maybe months, you know, people were, it's getting the, the people's attention. People were coming through, um, you know, uh, food writers and, and all sorts of people uh, left, were, were getting the attention um, from Goldberger. So I think it got to a point where he was able to get invited, I think, to, uh, to Smorgasburg. There was a, there was a, a period of time when Smorgasburg, um, did kind of this weekly or theme, theme uh, called the Smorgasburger Stand, and they would get different vendors, you know, uh, out either for a week or for several weeks or something. And so Goldberger was there out for for one of those. And so that would be, I, th- I think, considered his debut over there. And again, mm-hmm. Smorgasburg, um, uh, those not in the know, is is kind of this open air, kind of open market for food. So, yeah, think of like a farmer's market, but, but for food, you know, all <laughs> sorts of manner of food. Um, and uh, burgers was definitely one of them. So we have his, you know, gold burger uh, here with the fried onions and, and all that. And that was a pretty good day. Um, and he would come back. We would see him return um, for things like uh, their annual burger day. Um, and uh, things like that. So, but this was obviously a big deal, you know, um, larger scale, you know, larger exposure, you know, things like that. So um, that was that was really cool. So in addition to that, you know, he would um, uh, expand, you know, beyond uh, that spot at, at Dinosaur Coffee, and uh, he would he would visit. He would be at uh, there was this particular bar in East Hollywood. And um, that, in addition to expanding, he also had introduced um, a couple of other items, you know, including uh, what we see here is the patty melt. So, um, yeah, it was, I mean, it was, you got, you know, you got the burgers, you got the, you got the, the cheese and, and, the, and the onions, and it's just on this kind of toasted, you know, uh, toasted sliced bread here. So... Um, I think the patty melt certainly became a special item um, that we would find would be part of his regular menu, you know, even now. Um, but having that back then, you know, just something as he was trying out and yeah. um, sharing it, you know, with people and, and getting their take on it. And, you know, I thought that was that was really cool, uh, something special. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed uh, eating that. And I... Yeah, I mean, in addition to, you know, his his regular menu, you know, he had things like that. We also I don't remember if it was even before this, but around that time he would also, you know, have burgers like these. So this is his uh what I believe what he would call the special special. So that <laughs> it's basically, you know, the fried onion, you know, the gold burger um but uses these special buns. These are potato buns um from mm. a a local restaurant, I believe, where is it? Friends and Family is the name. Um, but uh, this was something else. You know, the potato bun is is something interesting because I, I don't think I really uh, became aware or appreciated the potato bun as much as I did until I, you know, started eating more of these burgers, um, whether with, uh, with Goldberger or otherwise. And uh, there's just something a little different, you know, about... Um, the chew and the taste and um, but it does really add to um, something different I think to uh, that makes it a just another level of a of a good burger um, so that was there for a little while you know it 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 came and went but it was it was good to have while it was there mm-hmm. you know so um, but then also we also have the introduction of of something like this, which is pastrami on, on a burger. And um, I think L.A. has a, a pretty rich history with 
um, with burgers and their pastrami, to be honest. And we probably, um, if, if we weren't the first, then we definitely would be one of the places that, that made it um, well-known, I think, and put, it on the, put this one on the map for, um, for L.A. and California, I think. But this, um, this was just like a low-key kind of menu add-on. It wasn't its own kind of thing at the time. It was just, hey, do you want pastrami on this? You know, and you just kind of add it on there. And, um, you know, it found its way into the menu, and now it's kind of a permanent, uh, made its, found a permanent home here. So, so again, we're seeing this kind of change and, I don't know, this path, this evolution, I guess, um, of the gold burger and, and, you know, the menu and things like that. So that was, um, I think that's pretty good. Um, I mean, what do you think so far, my child? I mean, we've, there's just a, we've seen a lot, you know, so far in a relatively short amount of time, I think, you know, this is really a matter of months. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy how, I mean, this is good. Always got to branch out your menu, but a lot of it that's stuck is the interesting part. Like they're just good enough that they're like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll make it a regular item. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, um, and then, so as we, as he, you know, moves, um, around more, um, we see him in different places, um, popping up at different locations and, um, one, one, one of the places I wanted to bring up here was, um, we, we have an out, I have a few pictures here when he was, uh, at this brewery at LA Ale Works in Hawthorne. And I had gone here, I'd gone here partly because, uh, I had recently met, um, Dustin from Bart's Barbecue. Um, and I was looking forward to his, you know, to having one of his like pop-ups too. And it turned out that they were doing it, you know, they had an, there was an event with both of them, you know, at this, on the same day. So I thought, yeah, I'd like to try them out. So I brought, um, uh, Tiffany Tran and, uh, along and Tom as well. And we, uh, uh, I, I brought them to, to join me for this because I knew it was going to be... <laughs> well, I don't know if they knew what they were signing up for. And I don't Probably think... Not. And to be honest, I don't think I knew uh, what I was signing us up for as far as, you know, what, how much we were going to have. Didn't um, you traumatize them with the amount you ordered? <laughs> it, it's possible. There's probably this <laughs> lingering, you know, kind of just... Uh, a version now of uh of meat platters and things like that <laughs> yeah like I, I wasn't there for that one but i heard the stories <laughs> it, it it was fun but there there's Maybe not for gotta, them you gotta resolve some things here <laughs> 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 oh boy but um but let i mean just want to take a look here you know this was you know just some of the you know what it looked like here you know this is you know the grill and you know him smash you know uh alan and um with the burgers and smashing and that technique you know you take you see what you know kind of he's doing there on the grill he's got the kind of that flat spatula but then he's got this um this i forget what you call this implement <laughs> <Here's> that, <laughs> that's device. down uh, yeah exactly to apply more pressure to um to spread you know spread out smash the meat and spread it out more um but you see again like um the way you smash it, you know, you kind of have these thinner parts around um, the the patty just... that that would create, you know, kind of a crispier texture. Um, and then here he is with, uh, you know, with Brent uh, helping him out. Um, it again, it was probably a larger, you know, turnout, a larger crowd these days. You know, more people he gets to serve. Um, so that was that was interesting too. Uh, this also uh, introduces um, someone to the to his crew that I think would you know kind of stay on um, for for the good while, and uh, that was shout out here to uh, to Megan. And um, at first, you know, she was kind of manning the the orders, taking the orders and things like that. But later on, we would see that um, uh, you know she'd be more involved. Uh, you know, in the line and, and things like that. But uh, I'll bring up a picture shortly. But, you know, this, you know, they served their classic and their, their special, special 
with that <laughs> potato bun on there. Um, but, um, you know, this was, so the way this worked is that I think they were scheduled like, uh, in the early part of the day or whatever, you know, the first part of the day when, when the brewery opened and then there was a gap and then, uh, Bart's barbecue would, would set up after. So I took these guys, you know, and we came, you know, right when they opened or right when they started. And of course, it's not like you're going to spend, you wouldn't necessarily spend the whole time eating, you know, order a few burgers. Again, remember who you're talking to, who you're with, okay? You're not, it's not us, all right? So, I mean, <laughs> we eat a few what? burgers, and then we're, like, kind of done. And then you, you got to wait until the next thing, you know? Um, but it was, it was a fun time to, you know, be able to kind of take pictures, too. I think this was kind of the, one of the early times that I started to kind of use that, the camera and kind of have fun with it. And and use these pictures too. Here's uh here's one with uh, Megan that we we mentioned earlier. Um, and again, she is working with the crew, with, you know, with him now, even now, and um, she's just a lot more involved, which which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we we um, there was a lot of food. I mean, but there was also a lot of waiting. So, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> well. We'll we'll have things to say about about Bart's too later on, so Ooh, don't worry. Funny to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, that was there at at uh, LA Ale Works. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I remember that. So um, another occasion that comes to mind. Um, actually, before that, it's it's interesting because you know LA Ale Works. You know, a lot of these places that I've you know that in going visiting all these pop-ups and, and places, you know, they all set up, a lot of them have this kind of brewery circuit, you know, that they set up mm -hmm. at, they have a certain, you know, set of breweries that they get relationships with and they, they tend to, to, you know, set up at frequently. So, I mean, for someone who, for myself, who doesn't, uh, who doesn't drink recreationally, <laughs> not that I'll never drink, but it's just, I don't, it's not my go-to. It's just, it's just very interesting how, um, how that's kind of turned out. Like yeah. I go, I know all these breweries, but I just, I what's just the, go there. What's LA Works specialty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are they known for? Wait a minute. Aren't they near SpaceX? I think they, <laughs> they got the SpaceX. Is, I that, is that why? I, <laughs> that's their famous brew, SpaceX? Oh boy. Well, shout out to um, LA Works. Works. But um, yeah, I... Mm. I'll, I'll have to we, you support the brewery as much as the pop-up okay let me yeah, just put yeah. that out there okay <laughs> yeah you always at least got one drink right for, 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 yeah exactly i okay. mean for most people it's like the other way around it's like people will go to the brewery <laughs> and they're like yeah support the pop-up once in a while like all right fine but <laughs> anyway <laughs> um another one i wanted to you know bring up here um back at the the Tabula Rasa Bar in East Hollywood. There was. I um, just want to bring up this picture here. I think it was this one. One of these it doesn't matter. But uh, the reason I brought this up. This was. Uh, this is an LA special. Um, you know, and we're back here to the plushy white bun and mm -hmm. um, the pastrami and and all those good things. But uh, you can see that's uh, just in case you didn't know. That's not my hand. Um, really? But we. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this was the time I, I met um, uh, someone pretty cool. Her name is Rebecca uh, King, and she would be known um, soon as the Bad Jew. That's right. And um, this was, I think, one of the first times that um, you know I had met her. And she was it just from day one. She's like super, like energetic and just really nice. And um, uh, she was helping Alan out. Uh, for a while, she, you know, we would learn that, you know, she'd always be interested in, in food and cooking and, and things like that. And, uh, hopefully we can talk about her too at some point, but, um, you know, cause she's kind of built a pretty great thing for herself, uh, these days. Um, but, uh, these were the days of the pop-ups with, with Alan. And so he was still doing the cooking and, and the grilling and all that, um, but she was uh, she was building the burgers and and things like that. So uh, that was that was just kind of worth mentioning there too. 
Um, but I wanted to kind of fast forward now to another kind of a, a significant event, I think, for me. Um, this event called the LA Food and Wine Festival. And LA Food and Wine, it was definitely something else because, you know, again, not around this time you have Gold Burger, but you have other um, burger pop ups and burger restaurants that are getting notoriety, getting recognition. Um, and we all, so we kind of see this, this intersection now or this, you know, of everything meeting at once for this kind of seminal food event. Um, and this was an event that was, I think, ho- yeah, namely hosted by um, Alvin Kylan, who is a very well-known LA, you know, kind of born and raised chef, um, had his time in New York and, you know, now back in LA. And you'd know him from Amboy, uh, or Egg Slut as well, um, among other things. But um, as far as burgers go, he is, well, he's a burger guy. He's a meat lover kind of guy, um, uh, in addition to all his other uh, wonderful facets. But he hosted this event uh, with LA Food and Wine, and he showcased a lot of different uh, food events, or uh, burgers, rather, and included uh, Gold Burger, uh, included Trip Burger, who we'll be talking about, um, places like uh, Love Hour, and... Um, Oh. other spots around LA, uh, Uncle Johnny's, uh, even variations of burgers from from other spots like Big Boy and um, and and other just kind of interesting takes on on burgers um, throughout the area. And so this was a, this I think this was a pretty big deal because we also had uh, kind of celebrity status uh, judges here. We in addition to you know Alvin. We had Adam Richman from um, Man vs. Food. Um, yeah. uh, Tiffany Thiessen, uh, who you may not know by name, but you may know the name Kelly Kapowski um, <laughs> from Saved by the Bell. So, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we know enough to remember. So, um, yeah. but uh, she's, she's uh, gone very much into kind of that food and hospitality kind of scene as well. Ooh. So, um, it, it, and then, and then we had Seth Rogen too, which I thought was a very interesting addition, but it actually it was pretty, um, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool trio that they had there. Um, so you had all these burger places, you know, and this was out there in, um, Santa Monica and, uh, called the Barker Hangar, which is just this, yeah, huge, just, um, space, uh, where everyone kind of set up and people were going around and of course they would taste, everyone made samples and people would taste and, um, uh, try different burgers, different styles. And additionally, it was, there was kind of this competitive, uh, competition aspect to it. People would vote and they would, um, they would cast their votes for their favorite, um, favorite burgers. So, um, people went around and they tried their different burgers. They, I mean, I'll just, since we're focusing here on, on gold burger, you know, just, you know, bringing up some of those, those pictures there, he just, he made his classic gold burger, you know, um, nothing, nothing else outside of that. That was really it. Um, we'll talk about, you know, some of the other places too, but, um, he, Pulled out all the stops. He had his, he had, you know, a lot of guys helping him out. Um, but he, he turned out, they turned out a lot and served a lot of people, a lot of burgers. And again, people were kind of, you know, voting and going around. And, you know, I could, in addition to myself just kind of going around, I could also hear um, people talking about, you know, uh, spreading the word on, you know, on Goldberger and, um, you know, how to try it out and how good it was and, um, and things like that. So I, um, it was, it it was pretty interesting to kind of see how, um, how fast kind of word got around and 
you know, the, the judges kind of made their way around too. And, you know, that was, uh, you see a lot of people as well. So in the end, people cast their votes and spoiler, you know, um, Goldberger is the winner. They, uh, they win the people's vote and, um, they, they win, you know, whatever, best burger for LA food and wine. So I don't think that's too shabby, you know? Um, and so I think that was, uh, that was an interesting night. It was very surreal, I think, especially for, for Alan and, and, uh, you know, the crew. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a long night though. I mean, it was there like (laughs) since the afternoon, you know, I had, um, yeah, I was lucky because, um, I forgot exactly the details, but uh, I have to shout out to Mark Tripp because the Tripp Burger because he um, I was I was trying to find my way in and I, I was kind of getting lost. Um, and then I found my way at a certain entrance. But then it was like, I think that was only meant for like certain personnel or whatever. Mm. But then Mark saw me, you know, um, and he said, no, he's good. Just bring him through. And, you know, they let me in. I'm like, oh, it's great. Uh, thank hey. you, Mark. <laughs> So I got him to thank for that. But um, so I kind of got, I think I was able to like access the event a little early, you know, kind of go around and see a little earlier than everyone else. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think it was just really a, just another kind of thing that uh, nailed the, sealed the deal really on, you know, that this was a good, a special spot that people should pay attention to. And um, that uh, there was really something worth talking about, you know. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to kind of jump ahead on this kind of little n- detail here that, you know, throughout this time, you know, there's this question about whether, in general, whether this place or in general, is it worth the hype? You know, is it worth, you know, people talking it up and seemingly to like, is it is it enough? Are we over promising something? Um, and is it going to meet expectations? And even if it does, is it enough to carry you through? You know, um, beyond that kind of initial recognition. You know, is hype enough to sustain your business? Right. But I think with something like this, you know, attention like this, and um, what he's gotten. In, relatively short amount of time um probably like a year if any i don't know i'm i i feel like this is one of those places that has gotten well-deserved attention um and and what people would consider hype is just uh well-deserved again um uh a recognition of a good of what of what good food is um a good burger spot just a good place in la you know things like that um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you agree <laughs> or have any thoughts and something like that, but I think so. Uh, with Goldberger specifically, like, cause it's not just the hype, like it's a good product. It's a really good product. And it's, it was, he's been working on it for a while and like it, it, you can tell. Yeah, exactly. Something that, you know, over time, you know, uh, it's improved and um it's just gotten better every every time yeah so um yeah i can't really go wrong uh, with that and and something that he really wants to you know he intentionally wants to improve and and make better so it's kind of really shown and um happy for him so, two side notes one before this event you know that same day earlier i had uh i had eaten another burger <laughs> before going <laughs> to this event <laughs> okay oh, yeah. pre-game Yes, the free game. Shout out to the window of the uh, the American Beauty in Venice. Um, <laughs> they they make also really good smash burger. Um, there's actually one in uh, Silver Lake now. If mm-hmm. you have a chance, go visit that. That's um, but I like that burger a lot. But yes, I pre gamed with that before I went to the event. But I, I need more burgers <laughs> exactly because I think I you know I got there a little er- I got there much earlier than I needed to. So I'm like, what can I do? I'll just have another burger. Sure. Yeah. You know, I got time to kill before a food event. I yeah, should exactly. eat something. Yes. What? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I wouldn't do a burger. 
All right. All right. Um, I was a little obsessed then. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Apparently. Um, okay. And the other, the other, uh, I wanted to bring up um, a picture here just of the event, just uh, of them uh, winning. Oh. Um, right. This was kind of the stage here. There's, I think, uh, uh, um, guy on the left is, is uh, Adam Richmond. <clears throat> So you have Alan from left to right. You got Adam Richmond, Ivan Kylan, uh, Alan, uh, the guy in the way background. I'm not sure, but then you have Brent um, to the right of of Alan and Ben, sir, I believe is his name on the that's shaking Adam's hand. Um, so yeah, you got all these folks here. Um, that was yeah, that was really something else. They they really killed it. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, the other the other thing I wanted to bring up is that again that was a long night. So I taken a lot of pictures. I had you know like a couple SD cards full of pictures, and I was compelled to still work on them when I got home. Uh, you know l- that same evening. So mm-hmm. I spent time to you know put these together, like dr- you know edit them and all that. Um. I was on the high of the gold. <laughs> uh, uh, that what it was. The but, burger but, high. Uh, yes, but then I crashed the next day <laughs> because, uh, because that the because uh, that was the day that everyone uh, all you thought that uh, I had died. <laughs> yeah, we were meeting up. Well, I don't think I, I wasn't going, but people were meeting up at your place to go to Heritage. I think no, that we was... were going to Smokey Jones that day. Oh, it was Smokey Jones. Okay, and I, and I think you were there that day. Because I don't remember. All I remember I, is... Look, I don't know if you were... We were if you, people were there. Yeah, I don't remember if place. you were coming down to... Yeah. I mean, we were all going to meet up, like, over there, like, on our own. Yeah. But I think the fact I had overslept, and I didn't set an alarm, and, you know, whatever. Yeah, and I, was, I slept late. So I didn't wake up on time, and I slept in, you know. So uh, when... But, you know, people were trying to, you know, reach me and trying to, you know, figure out what was going on that day, if you're still on, blah, blah, blah. But... When they didn't get an answer from me, they're like, oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> Is he yeah, okay? We were, well, I was less worried. Tomo was hella worried. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But like, oh, um, he's fine. He's I know. Fine. So I remember that, you know, I was, I was still in bed, but then I had heard kind of this tapping sound on the window in my bathroom. <laughs> and then I heard like, you know, the sounds of like something kind of getting through the window. <laughs> and then I heard my door opening. <laughs> Again, yeah. keep in mind that. Get uh, robbed. Yeah, exactly. But it just turns out we had concerned friends. Climbed in your bathroom window because the window was never closed. You always had it open. The screen was in. So oh. they, had to pop, they popped the screen out and then I the car climbed in. I see. Yes. Yeah, I kind of kept a little open because ventilation and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, but that was... <laughs> People were outside your place just worried. As just making sure, uh, yeah, making sure I, I wasn't dead, so... Yeah, yeah. It's nice to have people that... Uh, we'll bring kinda... it to your house for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, Oof. my gosh. Well, anyway, uh, that was a... That's a good day. <laughs> I think about it that way. You were you you did the window, and then you went to LA Food and Wine, and then the next afternoon, the next meal you were gonna have was gonna be a fucking barbecue. barbecue. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's a busy weekend. Yeah, we <clears throat> we we don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, uh, apparently not. That's pretty good. Uh, hey, at least it was good. You know. Yeah. We still met up. We still had uh, we still had a good meal out of that. So I. Uh, no problem. Okay. No problem. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It all worked yeah, out. It was fine. Um, and then one other, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I wanted to bring this up because I don't know. Y- nobody, nobody probably believes me. You still probably don't believe me. You know, I, I, uh, do find some recreation, uh, the joy in recreation and in, in, uh, some outdoor activity. Um, namely hiking, uh, every so often, Not real. I will, <laughs> I will 
go for a hike. Um, and if I'm lucky, maybe I'll bring someone along. But, you know, I remember that uh, I dragged you and Carmen along. You guys nice enough to join me. Um, yeah. Carmen and... wasn't working yet. I was. It was my RDO. It was your birthday. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's right. I, I, think, I think it was also because, yeah, it also happened to be my day off. Yeah, I don't day. know why. That was weird, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, that was a good day. So we, we had spent the morning hiking. Um, yeah. and then when we, when we were done, um, I said, Hey, let's get some food. But, as, as expected, but, yeah. but what we see here, you know, the gold burger here, this was not our, this was actually our last stop. One of our last stops, I think, because we had started, we had started off at, um, at slab. Um, yeah. That's right. Barbecue with you know we 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 you Carmen and um, Wendy and Daniel too, uh, but we didn't stop there. We went down the street uh, to this spot called uh, Spoon by H, which unfortunately is not there anymore. Yeah. I hope they return. Um, check out their Instagram; um, they might still drop some things in their stories of what they're up to. But um, we we had uh, we had That's delicious dessert. food from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then I said, shoot, let's, uh, go to, um, <laughs> go to Goldberger. I'm not, I don't think I've had quite enough yet. Okay. After having a meat platter, uh, dessert, uh, it's like, okay, what more can I have? Second dessert so, burger. Yeah. So that day, um, they were popping up at, uh, go get them tiger, uh, in, in hmm, I remember it was in like. Hollywood, yeah, kind of Hollywood, Las Feliz area. So yeah. um, near home state, near home state. That's right. Um, and also conveniently, I think it was next to the McConnells too, which I don't. Yeah, it was at the same, like literally right next to each other. Yeah, yeah. So McConnell's. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we had true. burgers there because um, I didn't have enough. So we, yeah, that's what I wanted to bring I up. Think, I mean, is it just you and me? Because I know Wendy and Daniel. No, I she, don't think. No, no, she was there because um, she was my hand model. That's her. <laughs> she's my, she's my hand model. Okay. So, so that uh, that worked out pretty good. Yeah, we were all there. We were all. Everyone there. can for that one. Okay, because I remember there are many food adventures where people dipped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They wanted to keep going. They had enough. <laughs> they've, they've had enough. That that's true. Okay. Um, but yeah, this was uh, at Go Get Em Tiger. I think this was you know one of. I don't know, I probably could say it's one of their times when they had a pop-up, like, at a place that had a kitchen, you know, kind of, oh, that, yeah. kind of setting, yeah. you know, because otherwise, you know, they'd be using their grills or flat tops or whatever, I'm but, outside, yeah. yeah, but they, they were utilizing the kitchen. Um, so, yeah, that was, um, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, I just wanted to bring that up because of the, the hiking and like in four different food places afterwards the year reward for the their justification right for, for like hike. yeah a hike that probably didn't even do much <laughs> made, barely made a dent in anything you know hey man i so, remember that hike you were trying to we had we made you climb up a thing that you were originally weren't gonna just to get yeah. to like it was off the path so you were very it was off hesitant the path. To do it. yeah and then we were also trying to find this like random i thought there was like some structure or something yeah, that was yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah. way across you were, the entire hike, you were hyping it up. You were saying, "Oh yeah, it's a thing," and then uh, I don't remember ever actually seeing it. Right. So, oh well. <laughs> uh, it was fun while it good lasted. Times. Yeah, good times. I was still blonde back then. <laughs> Jesus, I remember because I saw. I don't know why YouTube or not YouTube, Google decided to do the you know the slideshow the this. Oh like, yes, uh huh. Just this a reminder. And, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. And I remember seeing those pictures. It's like, oh yeah. Different time, times. Man. Anyway, you could bring yeah. it back. I could. If you want so Ugh. someday? Well, maybe we'll see the return. That's fine. <laughs> um, so we wanted to fast forward if we could. Um, from there, uh, twenty. Let's see, October, uh, twenty nineteen. So this would be about a year, I think, since he started the pop ups. We now see this announcement of um a brick and mortar, which is um. Which is obviously a, which is obviously a big deal, uh, in, and uh, in Silver Lake is where uh, Alan secures um, his brick and mortar. 
But the catch is that it was only for six months. Right. Um, the details are here in this Eater article, but um, you know, he it was six months, and he pretty much stuck to it. Um, to, but um, I mean, that was the lease. He yeah, I mean, it was the agreement. It. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm sure if he was in, if it was interested, if if circumstances had opened up, he would be open to it. But uh, to staying, but um, uh, but that's where he that's where he had set up and. It was a brick and mortar, but really it still kept to a kind of backyard kind of bar, uh, cookout kind of thing because really used the outdoor space. Um, but, you know, that that's really it. You know, there's tables and chairs outside. He was still really using the grill um, as if it were a pop-up. You know, the, the restaurant itself was really more for, I don't know, whatever, prep, kitchen stuff i have no idea but um that that was really it uh let me find something here um this is the you know the signage which was pretty cool i think he'd gotten a really good guy to um to put up this sign here yes the la hats now this spot took over a uh a previous burger spot that we had gone to um many years ago um it was a different time. A much different time. Who we would have were, thought? Yeah. That was election night 2016 when we went okay. there, dude. All right, I won't get I won't get too much into that, but but that was, was definitely a different long time definitely ago. set a different tone for us, I think, moving forward. <laughs> but, Big, biggest surprise uh, of my life. <laughs> yeah. So but uh, but Goldberger took over this spot and um, you know, you can see here, right. you know, again, people are just kind of set up uh outside. The grill is here. Um, who you see here, this is uh, Rebecca here on the left. Uh, she was helping out there in, this fir- in the f- kind of the early uh, days there for, for the brick and mortar. Um, uh, Megan's out there uh, too. So, but yeah, you see this whole crowd here and um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you just see it's just like another backyard boogie thing it's i think this day the reason we're seeing kind of these camera guys here um i believe this was a short from food in- yeah this was a food insider video this was the video that i played earlier uh-huh. um and this was uh the crew that came by to check them out um i think this also happened to be the day that i yeah i think megan and jason are megan and jason um uh I met up with them, so they were here too. Okay. Um but here we have um the fries. you know the, the gold burger and the introduction to the fries. And again, fries in general are always welcome, right? I think fries are like perfect pairing, uh perfect buddy for a burger. But it is difficult, admittedly, uh sometimes for a good fry as far as the cooking time keeping it warm, you know, making sure you have enough uh, to cook enough uh, for what mm. you need. But um, I don't know. I, I thought it was still really good. Uh, I thought this batch turned out great. And, of course, you have, I think this was the classic here in the foreground, the Goldberg in the background, and the fries as well. And you do see ketchup here, which is fine. Again, that's meant for the fries. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh yeah this was um this was just the start i think of like this nice kind of run uh just to get a good idea of like you know uh the volume of people now the kind of you know doing even if you are kind of doing it like a pop up with outdoor i mean it's still you still want to make it more streamlined kind of this restaurant line cooking kind of thing so yeah i mean that was um that was very interesting um so we see the fries. I want to see if I can find one with the uh the find one with the the introduction of curly fries too because that was something I think that was uh important um to introduce too. But um Yeah, that was uh just some other some other good um you know pictures that we have here. Oh, here here's a I don't remember if this was the first time, the introduction of it, but these were the curly fries. So low, I, <laughs> I know, low, <laughs> literal potato quality. Um, 
But um, I think these turned out really good, and, and these have become like a permanent part as well of the menu. Um, curly fries are just fun. I don't know. Um, yeah. People will argue it's the superior fry. Um, <laughs> sure, but sure. I'm, again, just like burgers, I, I like fries in, in all sorts of manners. So uh, this, was, this was nice, too. Um, yeah. Shout out to uh to Jammers because she knows a good burger when she uh, uh when she sees one. So um <laughs> yeah, we would uh, I remember when I I think I brought her a gold burger one time like early uh-huh. on and and I think she liked that and then now she you know she hits it up too and um we would meet up and and uh appreciate a good gold burger too. So um also shout out to uh Chef Mayo. Uh Mayo if you're listening to this, I miss you buddy. Uh uh he uh he knows all the good spots before they are good spots i mean like to to the public you know he he knows all the places to go um but um and goldberger is certainly one of them uh again we 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 kind of come back to this topic of um the hype i think you know again the attention still coming people are still coming um I think we at this point we also start seeing the introduction of Yelp reviews for this spot. Um, you know, and at first, you know, again early on, I mean, you know, I think it happened, but early on, you know, like you, you get good reviews and then you kind of get mixed reviews, you, you know, just and stuff in between. I mean, you know, it just still kind of begs, you know, <clears throat> worth the question is does it still live to, you know, to the hype? Um, and again, we, we discuss it already. And I think, like I said, this is a good example of, you know, a spot that, uh, is good and continues to be good. Um, and makes, you know, with a product, I think that, uh, they care to make good. Well, I have so okay. many good adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> Someone buy me a thesaurus, please. Um, <laughs> It's free ones online, man. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's where I'm getting them from. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but making quality product, I think, you know. Um, and of course, you know, things like you can't, you can't please everyone. You know, I think you're going to find that people who will just not be happy. Um, no matter what. That's right. Um, yeah. Whether be- And it's going to be because of those, those people's, you know, those pers- that individual person's... Um, you know, I don't know, their, their personal preferences, um, and choices and things, um, maybe what they grew up with is kind of different. I, you know, there's just so many things. So it's, it may not, um, jive or, you know, align with what you're trying to, to offer them, but you know, that's okay. But you have enough people that, um, that know and appreciate the product for, you know, the burger for what it is and what you're trying to give them. Um, and I think that's worth enough, and it's car- certainly carried him through um, even now. So I think it's that's kind of worth it in itself. Um, so yeah, there, with that, I um, there was one, a couple other things, other things to to mention here. Um, there was one time I met up with um, uh, this guy named uh, Goldline. So shout out to Goldline. Um, he uh he also knows a lot of good food spots and um supporting the small and local businesses and things like that. We um had the LA special uh for sure. Uh that's what you see here with the pastrami. Um but what we also have here uh is this picture here. And this one was interesting because um we had taken this picture Give me one second. I have to, to just make sure. This had happened, I think, just before the passing of Kobe Bryant. Um, and it was just interesting timing, you know. We, we didn't plan this or nothing. I mean, yeah. I just thought it was a cool kind of, you know, composition, background, and things like that. But, you know, just kind of added a little more knowing, you know, that we lost um Kobe even though admittedly as you know you I'm not watch basketball. okay 
where, that hat you're wearing, where is that, where is that from, huh? It's L.A. It's LA. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just a generic L.A. logo. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. But again, knowing, knowing that um, we lost someone uh, as great as Kobe, um, yeah, kind of added LA a different hat. meaning, I think, to, um, you know, to something like this. Um, yeah, so, so, yeah, um, that was, uh, that was some, that was something else. So anyway, rip Kobe. Um, but yeah, you know, the, he had a good ride, uh, for the next six months. Um, so he had to kind of, um, you know, wrap it up, <clears throat> whether because of, you know, the terms of, uh, you know, whatever he had over there. But also, I mean, that admittedly, that was also just before um, the pandemic. So all kind of aligned there, too. Oof. Yeah, it was interesting. 2020 was a, a rough time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but, you know, he managed to still turn it around. And um, he managed to secure his spot um, in almost, I don't know, in, in really relatively short time after that um, in... Um, what he where is currently now in Highland Park. So this was just kind of one of the posts of him announcing where where he was going to be. And yeah, this was during the pandemic. So it's very interesting to see how we have businesses that um, either will have opened during that time when things were like really different. People were just like not going out. You know, people were the way people were handling takeout and things like that was just very different. Um. And again, it must have been, you know, also difficult for businesses existing. So um, I think this is, again, a testament to beyond, going beyond the hype. You have, you know, a, a group that, um, you know, supports and follows and, um, and you know, thankfully carries you through um, and knows uh, the good food when they when they see it and keeps coming back and um, it's, I'm glad that they, you know, they, they were able to, to stick around, you know, it was online ordering only, obviously, you know, pickup only. Um, there was no seating. Uh, they did open up a, a small kind of patio just to the side here um, of the restaurant, but uh, really it's largely just kind of takeout, uh, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. But that was a big deal. Again, from from a pop up to a you know brick and mortar, um, in over a year, year and a half. I mean, like that's that's pretty impressive, to be honest. So, um, and again, especially in a time where uh, people have to like navigate uh, what we know as COVID, right? That yeah. whole the whole pandemic thing. Once so, in a lifetime global pandemic. Yes. Yeah, and, and yes. In addition to you know running a restaurant right a proper restaurant with you know all the headaches and and paperwork and bureaucracy that goes with that i mean it's yeah it it's it's crazy so with with the restaurant you know we int- he introduced uh things like uh, the bar burger which is like this thicker patty um which um and just kind of a different spin on on a burger but um that's something i enjoyed a lot um but also he got to really uh, showcase um, really the talents of uh, of his wife uh, <laughs> with with her pies. pies, and the pies are just something. I don't know. They're just something else. I mean, they are. They're just really delicious um, pies. A that good, a well. Layer. I mean, good flaky layer. Nice crumble here on the top. This is the blueberry uh, crumble here. Um, it's it's just really like a nice substantial, just really um, good feeling filling and and everything with that. Um, so pie, so I'm like, watch out, pie and burger. I mean, you got you know, <laughs> yeah. Goldberg uh, is coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Goldberg is coming your way. You know, it's but um, I mean, much I know, I I don't recall if you've had the chance to try any of these pies, but no. um, I I think you'll need to. Um, oh, get yourself onions. down. This is the bar burger that we were talking about earlier. So the bar burger is the thicker patty, the pickled red onion. Yeah, so maybe that catches your attention a little bit. Hell um, yeah. Yeah. So um, I hope you uh, help you get around to that. But I also brought this one up because they this is the um, 
the pumpkin pie. I think this must have been during Thanksgiving. Oh. So this was also a very delicious, um, very flaky, very, you know, just buttery, um, wonderful, just pumpkin filling uh, with a good crumble. It, it, it was really something else. Really shout out to um, Taylor and, and um, man, and Alan too. So I want a pie. Yeah. I'll, uh, I hate you. I know. I know. Dort asked me a pie right now. <laughs> okay. Other food delivery apps are available. <laughs> you can, um, I, I don't remember. We can take a look. I don't remember if they, uh, they do delivery. I mean, that you can order online um, if, if you want your fix you know, for pickup. Oh, um, it's too hot to go anywhere. <laughs> I know. You need to. I know. You need I to, stay to cool. leave this glorious air conditioned apartment. I know. It's, it's crazy. I can't. Can't even stand. How are you surviving anyway? You, you don't have AC. What is it? What are you talking about? I have AC. Or do you? I do. I feel like we had a discussion Be- where you did. believe me. I have AC, and um, okay. I would die without it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> but um, in addition to a Highland Park, we also have the second location in in Las Vegas. So very um, very happy for that. So. And that's next to the Los Feliz Theater, um, which I think that spot was also a burger spot, if I'm not mistaken, because <laughs> I, I had gone there like so many years ago. Um, but anyway, they, they, they are there now. Um, small shop, again, some seating, some indoor, a little bit outdoor. Um, but uh, shout out to uh, Chef Gio, who I was lucky to meet um, some time ago uh, with Chef Mayo. Uh, but he runs kind of both spots. Um, but he's a really good guy too. So, um, so yeah, that that's that's where we are here. Um, I did want to mention a little bit. You know, again, no restaurant is without its um, you know kind of trials and you know troubles and things. But there was a period of time where Highland Park had to close um, for almost a month. And I think that was because of city bureaucracy. And um, they're saying, like, really? the rest, yeah, I think the spot wasn't, they, they claim it wasn't a proper space for a restaurant or something like that. Again, it was a matter of paperwork, I believe, or, you know. Um, yeah, because it wasn't even a restaurant spot prior. <laughs> I think so, yes, basically, uh, the last 30 years or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. So. Thankfully, they sorted it out, but it was kind of a shame because I think, you know, the crew that he had over there, he had to let go for a while and, you know, he couldn't hold on to them. So, but thankfully they're back, you know, um, so they got both spots running, but it's just as important again for, remember, spots that you, um, you, you support, um, that you remember to support and uh, however you can, if you want to keep them going. I mean, it's, it is important. So, um, but with that said, they're they're up and running. I hope I wish them, you know, continued, you know, all the best, and they keep doing their thing, making great burgers for uh, for the people in LA and and um, people who come by from all over get to try it at least once and appreciate it for being a great, just a nice, great burger. Um, I consider it probably one of LA's essentials, you know, as a smash burger or just a spot to try. Um, it's definitely on all, you know, all the food lists um, that that you may see. So, or you know, if you ever look for a burger, um, you know, you'll hopefully find that. Um, this just this article I just you know I remember coming across just gives you a rundown of some of the um, burgers in LA to try out, Smash Burgers in particular, and a lot of the places here are places that uh, we'll probably talk about hopefully, um, but. Um, Goldberger sure. is definitely one of them. Um, yeah, so I was very happy uh, and very grateful that uh, you know we could kind of see that you know kind of growth, growth, you know, mm-hmm. and um, also being able to just have fun and you know take pictures um, and of, of these kinds of events and um, points in time, and um, hopefully we'll continue to kind of do that uh, in time as well, but. Again, if you want to hit them up, you know, you hit them up on Instagram, on their website. All these, we'll have these links and stuff down in our show notes and descriptions. 
Um, but again, they're currently in Highland Park and uh, Las Feliz and uh, ordering online is probably the way to go. Um, super easy. Um, and you can just pick it up and be on your way. Uh, got any, anything, any other thoughts? I don't, you know. I don't know about the bar burger, man. It's been oh. a while since I've been there. It's a, I haven't been there since pre-pandemic. So that bar burger looking real nice. Yeah. I mean, Pickle look. Buttons, thick patty. I'm in. Well, it's uh, check out the menu. Check it out online. Again, you got two locations that are relatively close to you. So I don't think there's any excuse, you know, not to try it. So, yeah. Um, make sure to, uh, to hit it up uh, as well. So. But aside from that, yeah, I um, thanks for uh, joining us, you know, this time. And um, we're excited to bring you more episodes of our food adventures and the great food and the you know, people as well. You know, you can find us here streaming on, on YouTube and the audio will be available wherever, you know, fine podcasts are served. Um, but until next time, uh, I'm Angelo. I'm Michael. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each. Oh, God.